We've never gotten this far, have we, buddy? Yeah, well, I like to disappear, you know, for a start. You know, straight after doing Rectify, it takes a while, you know, so I, I, I don't book anything, you know, uh, because there is a certain decompression that I experienced with the first season that, you know, really rattled me because the, the, the topic of, of what Daniel's experiences were on death row and coming back to a shattered family and trying to find his way forward, forward in the world. You know, it had, it had quite a profound effect on the way that I had to understood people and understood life and understood, you know, good and bad and the monster that we carry inside us, you know, that we might choose to let out or hopefully keep within us. And, and so on the second season, you know, I took a, you know, a little, little break there and decided to just, you know, uh, go to L.A., settle down for a little bit. And unfortunately, you know, a friend called from Australia and said, I want you to come and do this series with me. And so we had to pack up house and go back to Australia. Oh, mother. Oh, son. Goodbye, mother. Goodbye, son. But last year I did a, I did a, another miniseries, uh, which was about a, which I was really intrigued by because I, you know, I'd gone from playing a character just got out of death row to playing a homicide detective. And my brother, um, he was a detective in the violent crime squad and undercover and what have you. And, and I was intrigued to enter his world and also begin a conversation with him uh, about how to project that sort of character through fiction. You know, I was intrigued to, to, to look at how Australians as well were telling stories of criminality and, you know, in their law. And um, it was really an intriguing thing.